Hey, how's going on guys? This is the iTech HQ. Today in this video with me, I'm going to talk about the YouTube app on the iPod Touch. Now, the thing is, the YouTube app on the iPod Touch is not the best app ever. And it really is uh, what I call a sort of a disastrous app right there. It doesn't work for me. It doesn't load up. And it's complete rubbish right there. I can reply to comments. So, it's just unusable, I think. So, therefore, I find myself going over to the YouTube.com, the official website or the mobile website of the YouTube on my web browser. However, let's me, let me actually give you an example. So, if I go over and let's say I am browsing through the web, I like this video, I want to go ahead and watch this video. It takes me back over to that YouTube app. I really don't want this. I want to watch this, uh, the YouTube video right within this, the web browser. Just, I, just, I don't want... The browser to redirect me to the YouTube app. So if we actually go over to the settings, you go over to general, all right there. Then scroll down. You guys can see restrictions. And what you actually have to do is go ahead and enable restrictions. Now I go ahead and just put any password. I'm going to put a one two three four. Uh, and now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and just turn off YouTube. So now if I go back over to my Springboard, you guys can see that there's no YouTube app anymore, it's gone. So now if I go over to Safari, I open this uh, link up, you guys can see it's actually going to the YouTube.com, the mobile uh, version of the YouTube website. So this is basically, you know, this is basically much more better. I can reply to comments right from here as well. And it's overall a lot better experience than the YouTube app on iOS. So that is just sort of a, uh, sort of a tip that I wanted to share with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment down below, follow me on Twitter and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye bye.